Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Tupperwein. And I'm Vince Penman. In this episode, we're looking at the design of home appliances and how they're becoming increasingly energy efficient. Did you know that the kitchen is the room in the house where the most energy is consumed? Refrigerators, ovens, dishwashers, and other appliances account for nearly 40% of the total energy consumed in your house. Engineers have been working for many years to make them more energy efficient. Let's start with the refrigerator. These bad boys used to be the biggest energy consumers, using more than 1500 kilowatts per year to keep everything, including your beer, cold. We've covered the science behind refrigeration a few episodes back when discussing HVAC, so take a look at that if you want a quick review. To design a more efficient refrigerator, engineers at companies like Liebherr have increased the insulation thickness in the refrigerator's walls from a half an inch to two inches. Those walls still won't protect you in a nuclear blast, no matter what the movies say. Yeah. For those of us who aren't Indiana Jones, fridge designers have also improved compressor efficiency and increased heat exchanger areas. They elected to have two evaporators instead of one. One evaporator for maintaining freezer temperature at zero to five degrees Fahrenheit, and the other for holding the refrigerator at 40 degrees Fahrenheit for fresh food. Because electric heaters are used for defrosting, they now save additional energy by setting the automatic defrost cycle to every four days instead of every 18 hours. Over the last 20 years, energy consumption in home refrigerators has been reduced by 75%. Dishwashers have traditionally required a lot of energy, first to heat the water and then to heat the air to dry the dishes. Let's take a look at the engineering magic of the modern dishwasher. Although dishwashers are watertight, they don't completely fill with water, only the bottom area. There the water heats to 130 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Then a pump shoots the hot water up to the jets where it's forced out through the spray arm. The spray arm increases the water pressure by forcing it through small directional holes, much like putting your thumb on the water coming out of a garden hose. The force of the water also makes the arms that hold the spray jets rotate, just like that crazy daisy or potato head sprinkler you enjoyed as a kid. Or last week. We won't say anything. Once the dishes are clean, it's time for the dry cycle, where a heating element heats the air inside to help the dishes dry. Now what about energy efficiency? Well, dishwashers use energy primarily for heating water and secondarily for circulating the water through the machine. New high efficiency dishwashers like companies like Fager have more effective washing action, energy efficient motors, and other advanced technologies such as sensors that determine the length of the wash cycle and the temperature of the water necessary to clean the dishes. An oven is pretty simple, really. The components are a thermostat to regulate the temperature and a timer clock control. When we want to look at conservation, there really isn't much that can be done. If only there was a way to use an oven at lower temperatures for a shorter period of time. Mm. No, Vince. We're talking about convection baking. In a non-convection oven, there is a thin layer of air that normally insulates the food. Convection ovens use a fan in the back of the oven to move the heated air around in the oven compartment, distributing it more evenly than a regular oven. Because a convection oven blows the air around, it strips away that thin layer of air, resulting in a faster cooking time at lower temperatures. Most of the engineering behind energy conservation in the kitchen has been supported by 3D design software that allows designers to quickly create, visualize, and share different design ideas. Many appliance designers, including Liebherr and Fager, use direct modeling apps that are part of Creo, PTC suite of design software. You can try Creo Elements Direct Modeling Express from PTC yourself with a free for lifetime version. Simply go to ptc.com slash go slash modeling PE. That's it for the product design show this week. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.